Welcome to this mix, looking in particular at rockets and Newton's laws of motion, in particular Newton's second law. So we're going to analyse some rocket motion and look at how the acceleration changes in a rocket as it uh, takes off and goes into orbit. So the motion can be quite complex. It can look simplistic, but actually it's quite complex when we look at all the details. If we draw our free body diagram, this one technically isn't because it's got a rocket rather than a box. So you wouldn't need to draw a rocket. You could have just drawn a rectangle in the middle. And upon takeoff, we've got the thrust of the engines forwards, the weight downwards, <coughs> and we've got an unbalanced force upwards. If it's left the ground, then we will also have some air resistance. At the beginning, the air resistance is very small when it's not going very fast. So this is once it's taken off and uh, got up to a reasonable velocity. So just after takeoff, there's a greater unbalanced force upwards because the thrust must be greater than the weight. Otherwise, it wouldn't go upwards. Air resistance is very small at the beginning because the rocket's hardly moving. If we know the thrust and the mass of the rocket, we can calculate the acceleration using Newton's second law. So here's an example. A missile of a particular mass of 1,000 kilograms fired into the air. We're given the thrust and we're given the drag or the air resistance. Here's my free body diagram. And immediately I can see that I've got my thrust, my air resistance, and I have to work out the weight to add that onto my diagram. Then I can work out what the acceleration is, work out the unbalanced force, the thrust take away the drag and the weight, and then work out the acceleration. As the liftoff continues, the air resistance increases. So this acts against the motion, so the unbalanced force will be reduced. However, it's not quite as simple because the rocket uses up fuel, so that means that its mass will decrease, which reduces the weight, which increases the unbalanced force. But that's not everything either. As it goes away from the Earth, the gravitational field strength reduces, which makes the weight a bit smaller too. And also the air will get thinner, so the air resistance changes as well. All of this is based on the assumption that the thrust remains constant. If that changes, then there's even more things changing. Okay, so what is the overall effect? How do all these things come together? We've burnt the fuel, so we've changed the mass. We've got faster, so we've got more air resistance. Well, essentially, the overall effect is that the acceleration increases. If we look to... Okay, so what we need to do is we need to be able to say how it and why it changes. So what we're really saying is that the effect of the change in mass and the change in weight is the biggest impact compared to the air resistance changes. And so that's why the acceleration increases.